Unfortunately, much of the media in Washington, D.C., along with New York, Los Angeles, in particular, speaks not for the people, but for the special interests and for those profiting off a very, very obviously broken system. Welcome to the world of the media. Summer is almost over, and that means it's back to school season. And along with reading, writing, and arithmetic comes the threat of flu. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention is recommending that children from the ages of six months to their 19th birthday be vaccinated against the flu because youngsters are more susceptible to the virus's effects. So doctors say act now. Get your child vaccinated as soon as possible. Advise them to wash their hands after every meal. Also make sure that little ones understand the need to stay at a healthy distance from their friends. Sharing is admirable, but getting too close is a good way to transmit the virus. For today's Health Minute, I'm Melissa Rainey. They found that the flu shot was no more effective at keeping you from getting the flu than a placebo, than a sugar pill. But yet, many people are injured by that vaccine, can contract Guillain-Barre syndrome, which is a permanent paralysis. It can cause a permanent disability in the arm. It can cause seizure disorders. It can cause a litany of types of health problems that employers are unaware of. They look at flu shots like it's a, a vitamin shot, like, mm -hmm. come on in, it's good for you. Come in into CVS and get your shot because mm -hmm. it's like coming in and getting a, a B12 shot or something, something that's going to boost you up and make you better, and nothing could be farther from the truth. Donald, do you get the flu shot every year? No. Why? No, I don't know. I've never had one, and thus far I've never had the flu. Uh, I don't <laughs> like the idea of injecting bad stuff into your body.